Hi viewers In this class we are going to discuss the bio pesticides such as Bacillus thuringiensis or commonly called as the BT mode of action of toxin toxin gene isolation and engineering of bacillus thuringiensis under this topic we will see the introduction types of bio pesticides and especially in reference to the bacillus thuringiensis and advantages of the bio pesticides of all classes of organisms insects have the largest number of described species insects negatively affect humans in a variety of ways they cause massive crop damage and they act as vectors of both human and animal diseases a number of chemical insecticides were developed as a means of controlling the proliferation of noxious insect population one of these was ddt this ddt proved to be exceptionally effective in killing and controlling many species of pests ddt function by attacking the nervous system and muscle tissue of insects another class of insecticides called organophosphates and include malathion parathion and dizinon these insecticide disrupt the functioning of the motor neurons and neurons in the brain of the insect chemical insecticides were found to lack specificity consequently beneficial insects were being killed along with the along with those that were considered to be pests using insecticides that are produced naturally by either microorganisms or plants was an obvious choice on the positive side these compounds are usually highly specific for a target insect species biodegradable and slow to react uh, slow to select for resistance but on the negative side their low potency and high cost of production limit their use for a variety of applications these negative attributes might be overcome by recombinant dna technology the insecticidal activity of the bacterium that is a bacillus thuringiensis and insect baculoviruses systems appear to be safe specific and effective and the formulations of live organisms used to control insects are pests live organisms include predators and parasites apart from the predators insects birds and nematodes and protozoans parasites viruses bacteria and the fungi and here there are different kinds of bio pesticides animal pesticides the best example is the nematodes plant pesticides example chrysanthemum and azadiracta microbial pesticides bacillus thuringiensis npv nuclear polyhedrosis virus and the trichoderma here there are potential organisms for the bio control of insect pests apart from the predators insects simmas menokailas chrysopa apart from the nematodes stenema heterorhabditis from the protozoa pharynocystis trifoli apart from the parasites start with the fungi bavaria nomira metarhizium verticelli verticellum apart from the bacteria pseudomonas aerobacter seracia 
Bacillus thuringiensis, Bacillus papillae. And apart from the viruses, nuclear polyhedrosis virus, cytoplasmic polyhedrosis virus, and granulosis virus. These are the different potential organisms for the biocontrol of insect of insect pests. And coming to the Bacillus thuringiensis. So it is a kind of bacteria. Let us see the morphology. It is a aerobic and gram positive bacteria. Bacillus means it is a rod shaped bacteria and the nature is spore farming bacteria and they have a certain gene which is called as a CRY gene produces CRY protein. This CRY protein is also called as a alpha endotoxin which is located on the plasmid and it, it shows the effect. It is majorly effect on Lepidoptera, Diptera, Coleoptera and Hymenoptera insects. And here if you observe the mode of action, action of taxin, a microbial insecticide can be an organism that either produces a toxic substance that kills an insect species or has the ability to fatally infect a specific target insect. The most studied, most effective and most often utilized microbial insecticides are the toxins synthesized by Bacillus thuringiensis. This bacterium comprises a number of different strains and different species, each of which that can produces a different toxin that can kill certain specific insects. The insecticidal activity of the toxin of Bacillus thuringiensis subspecies Kurstaki and other strains is contained within a very large structure called parasporal crystal. Parasporal crystal which is synthesized during bacterial sporulation. The parasporal crystal comprises approximately 95% of proteins and 5% of carbohydrates. The crystal is an aggregate of protein that can generally be dissociated by mild alkali treatment into subunits. The insecticidal toxins from the several thousand bacterial thuringiensis strains that have been isolated and characterized based on the insecticidal activity of the toxin they can be grouped into four major classes namely CRY1, CRY1, CRY2, CRY3 and CRY4, CRY4. The CRY1 gene it is toxic to Lepidopteran insects whereas CRY2 toxic to Lepidoptera and Diptera whereas CRY3 gene toxic to uh, 3 toxin toxic to Coleoptera and whereas CRY4 toxic to Diptera. And these proteins are further arranged into subclasses and subgroups according to the DNA sequence of the toxic genes. The parasporal crystal does not usually contain the active form of the insecticide rather once the crystal has been solubilized the protein that is released is a protoxin that is a precursor of the active toxin. When a parasporal crystal is ingested by a target insect the protoxin is activated within its gut by the combination of alkaline pH that is 7.528 and specific digestive proteases which converts the protoxin into an active toxin. In its active form the toxic protein inserts itself into the membrane of the gut epithelial cells of the insect and creates an ion channel through which 
there is believed to be an excessive loss of cellular ATP. About 15 minutes after this ion channel forms, cellular metaboli uh, metabolism ceases and the insect stops feeding, becomes dehydrated and eventually dies. Because the conversion of the protoxin into the active toxin requires both alkaline pH and the presence of specific proteases, it is unlikely that non-target species such as humans and farm animals will be affected. The mode of action of bacillus thuringiensis toxin imposes certain constraints on its application. To kill an insect pest, bacillus thuringiensis must be ingested. Contact of the bacterium or the insecticidal toxin with the surface of an insect has no effect on the target organism. Ingestion in part limits the susceptibility of non-target insects and other animals to this insecticide. Bacillus thuringiensis is generally applied by spraying, so it is usually formulated with insect attractants to increase the probability that the target insect will ingest the toxin. But insects that bore into plants or attack plant roots are likely to ingest a bacillus thuringiensis toxin that has been sprayed on a host plant so other strategies have been devised to control such pests. One approach is to create transgenic plants that carry and express a bacillus thuringiensis toxin gene and consequently are protected from infestation throughout the growing season. A second limiting factor of the action of toxin is that it can kill a susceptible insect only during a specific developmental stage. So the toxin must be applied when pest population is at particular stage in its life cycle. For the biological control of the insect pests, the biological for the biological control of the insect pests, Bacillus thuringiensis subspecies Korstocki is applied by spraying approximately 1.3 into 10 to 2.6 into 10 to the power of 8 spores per square foot of the target area. Administration of these spores is limited to coincide with the peak of the larval population of the target organism because the Parasporal crystals being sensitive to sunlight are short-lived in the environment. In simulated conditions, sunlight degrades over 60% of the tryptophan residues of the parasporal crystal within a 24-hour period. Depending on the amount of sunlight present, parasporal crystals may persist in the environment for as, as little as day or as long as a month. The lack of persistence in the natural environment of the insecticidal protoxin means that normally selection of resistance insects is highly unlikely. However, when Bacillus syringiensis subspecies Korstocki is used as an insecticide in a controlled environment where there is no sunlight, Resistant target insects have been found to develop within a few generations. One form of within the few generations, one form of this is inherited resistance is due to an alteration in a midgut membrane protein that normally act as a receptor for the bacillus thuringiensis toxin. Resistance probably develops because the protoxin persists under these conditions and acts as a selection agent. Here there is a parasporal crystal and it is solubilized in the midgut pH 
becomes protoxin underwent proteolysis in the presence of trypsin and chymotrypsin becomes activated toxin and that leads to the pore formation in the mid gut of epithelial cells and after the so here we can observe this action of protease formation of the pre pore oligomer and here it is the pore formation and coming to the isolation of the toxic gene toxin gene isolation to develop bacillus thuringiensis a based insecticide that have greater potencies and broader host ranges it is necessary as a first step to isolate and characterize protoxin gene the first aspect of this problem is to determine whether the toxin genes are located on a plasmid or on the chromosomal dna to test for plasmid borne toxin genes the source bacillus thuringiensis strain can be conjugated with a strain that lacks the insecticidal activity if the latter strain requires the ability to synthesize the insecticidal toxin then the toxin gene that is s yes, is most likely present on a plasmid because the transfer of chromosomal dna during conjugation is a rare event the procedures for isolating a protoxin encoding dna sequence is a familiar one bacillus thuringiensis cells are grown in a laboratory culture and lysed the total cellular dna is isolated and separated into plasmid and chromosomal dna fractions by cesium chloride gradient centrifugation when the protoxin gene is a part of the genome a clone bank is constructed from the chromosomal dna when the toxin gene is plasmid encoded the plasmid dna can be further fractionated by sucrose gradient centrifugation which separates dna different plasmids according to their size and enriches for the dna that serves as the starting material for the isolation of the protoxin gene the fraction with small plasmid is discarded because this plasmid is too small to encode a protein equivalent to the 130 kilo daltons protoxin the medium and large plasmid fractions are each partially digested with the restriction enzyme asu3 a1 and then ligated into the bam h1 site of plasmid pbr 322 when the isolated protoxin gene was used as a dna hybridization probe that 71 kilo bases plasmid of bacillus thuringiensis was found to encode this sequence similar cloning and screening procedures have been used to isolation of bacillus thuringiensis toxin genes located on either plasmid dna or less of an on chromosomal dna of the other strains this is all about the isolation of the toxin gene now engineering of the bacillus thuringiensis toxin genes once the isolation and sequencing of a toxin gene were accomplished the complete amino acid sequence was deduced comparisons of amino acid sequences from other toxin proteins showed that a common toxin domain exists in some of these strains under normal conditions most bacillus thuringiensis protoxin proteins are synthesized only during the sporulation phase of growth in other words only a portion of the growth cycle of the organism is devoted to parasporal crystal production it might therefore be advantageous in terms of increased yield and decreased production time to have the toxin gene transcribed and translated during vegetative growth furthermore 
production of the insecticidal toxin during vegetative growth would permit the toxin to be synthesized by a continuous fermentation process potentially significantly decreasing the cost for produ production producing the toxins during the spiralization of bacillus thuringiensis a specific transcription transcription initiation factor that is sigma factor interacts with the promoters of genes that are active only within this phase of bacterial life cycle this factor turns on the transcription of the messenger rnas that are unique to sporulation in fact when a bacillus thuringiensis toxin gene with its sporulation specific promoter was cloned and expressed in bacillus subtilis bacillus megatherium or bacillus thuringiensis gene transcription occurred only during sporulation thus to express a bacillus thuringiensis insecticidal toxin during vegetative growth it is necessary to place the toxin producing gene under the control of a promoter that is active during vegetative growth when a dna fragment containing a toxin gene that lacked its natural native promoter was cloned into a plasmid under the control of a continuously active constitutive promoter from a tetracycline resistance gene that had been originally isolated from bacillus cereus plasmid and reintroduced into bacillus thuringiensis active toxin protein was produced continuously throughout the growth cycle including both vegetative and sporulation phases in addition when the construct was used to transform a sporulation defective mutant of bacillus thuringiensis toxin synthesis occurred in the absence of sporulation a refinement of this system might entail integration of this vegetatively expressed toxin gene into the chromosomal dna of the sporulation defective bacillus thuringiensis host this manipulation would ensure that the insecticidal toxin gene is not lost due to plasmid instability during a continuous fermentation process the toxic moiety of many cry proteins is composed of three separate domains domain 1 domain 2 and domain 3 domain 1 at the end terminal region of the toxin is involved in the specific binding of the toxin to protein receptors that are found on the surface of the insect midgut epithelial cells domain 3 which is located at the c terminal end of the toxin molecule is thought to contain the actual toxin portion of this molecule generally a resistance to bacillus thuringiensis insecticidal toxin is a consequence of a mutation that alters an insect midgut receptor proteins so that it no longer binds to the cry protein however if a toxin gene was engineered so that the toxin bound to bound to other midgut cell surface proteins then a resistance might be less likely to arise so this is the uh, engineering of the bt toxin genes and coming to the advantages of the bt development of resistance is low large scale production is very easy they persist for long period and infect pest when reappears exhibit synergistic effect when used with chemicals specifically ensures selectively killing of target organism this is all about the bt toxin isolation of the toxin and the genetic engineering of the bt thank you thank you one and all